Scorpio, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Hope all is blessed in your world. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of the Scorpio Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the romantic advice for you in the coming week? Playfulness. Playtime is essential for relationships. Have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner. Okay, Google, turn east to pink. So playfulness is a thing. Okay, useful. A little flirtation never hurt nobody. Okay. How can you get back together with somebody you've been disconnected from? What are the things spirit is advising you can say? No one can get in the way of how I feel for you forever, my love. You need to put an emphasis on the fact that you feel like your bond is eternal. If that is truly how you feel, Scorpio, about somebody in your life, you know the whole reason, season, lifetime bit, if you feel like it's lifetime, you need to express this. Somebody's got a crush out there that they need to let know that they've been digging forever. Okay, there's somebody you are playfully flirting with. Likely been going on for some time. Scared to make that approach. But you have traveler here. It's time for you to strap on your boots. And get the step in. Get moving towards this grand love, Scorpio. You are the magician or manifester in your own life. Things can get hella romantic, hella quick, all right? You can manifest exactly who you want to be with. You have to let it be known. So this is permission to flirt. This is permission to express that you think somebody's in your life forever. I see there has been no communication and that's the problem. Instead of being sad over this, you have the five of cups and the five of pentacles here. What you don't know is that somebody also feels out from your love, Scorpio. I understand you decided to stop talking to them in the recent past. Many of you actually blocked these people. Queen of swords at the top of this. Since then, you've been dating other people or looking for someone to love. You view yourself as somebody who has a lot of value, a lot of potential, a lot to give. You wish that person could have stayed in your life to, to, to reap the benefits. Okay? You, you would have been willing to protect what you and so-and-so had at all costs. Okay? There's somebody in a separation that needs to know. All you need to do is express how you feel. The Ace of Swords is coming out in the reverse because communication has stopped. At least on a, honest communication has stopped. But Spirit wants you to be strong, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. Oh, this Scorpio. Divine Feminine. Step into your Empress power. Recognize who you are. Re recognize the power that you possess, quite literally, innately. Your charm, your beauty. All these things captivating. All these things that can help uh, fix also a third party gone sour, okay? Um, if somebody is feeling like they're in competition for someone else, you have the magician here, okay? You're able to manifest. You got double magician, okay? Manifestation tools are at your hands, quite literally. Open your hands, extend your hands to spirit to accept all the gifts that spirit wants to bring in for you. What is your fortune, Scorpio, if you are in this reading? What are you manifesting? What are you tapping into divine feminine energy to do? Use your playfulness, says Holy Spirit. Let someone know it's forever your love. Judgment. It says soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Playfully write them a note, a love letter, okay? Let somebody know how real it is, but they can let, let them know in a cute and playful manner, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what's coming up.
What is coming up between Scorpio and whoever they're thinking about right now? I feel like somebody is going to shift blame on the other for the reason why it hasn't worked. Because you had a lot of time to think about this. Yeah. You're truly heartbroken, Scorpio. Some of you out there. Hanged man and the three of swords. You've had too much time to sit by yourself thinking about what went wrong. Instead of connecting with this person positively. And putting the past behind you guys. See this ace of swords coming out in the reverse again. You need to make that right side up. This conversation needs to be had. All the things you can expect to come out in your conversation. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. You might find that you can't get through to this person. This is why you need to keep it lighthearted, playfulness, okay? Don't write them a deep, crazy, chaotic letter. Oh, dear Scorpio. But converse, wishbone, it says a wish is granted. And once you do that, your wish will be granted. You'll get to the truth, to the bottom of this, to see if you guys can be something again. What is your wild offering, Holy Spirit? What can you offer, Scorpio, who's been thinking about somebody very strong? Someone they likely have regret for losing or separating from? Somebody that they don't know just being lighthearted, flirtatious, sweet, sincere, genuine, able to forgive can reunite these two. You guys got companionship, which reads, when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. You're about to be involved with somebody who deserves you. Many of you need to have that conversation with the one that you cannot get off of your mind. Be lighthearted with these people. That is your advice from spirit. Your person's intent towards you. Page of Swords. They want to stop spying on you. They want to keep it real too. Keep in contact too. But they felt like their efforts were never appreciated you more put a spotlight on what was wrong and that's why they stopped trying to connect Scorpio every time this person made an attempt it wasn't good enough for you and you let that be known okay so in order for you and them to work it needs to be less restrictive more passionate okay this page of rods coming out in the reverse no bueno okay Fun, flirty, playful, okay? Again, it says playtime is essential for relationships. Having a little fun, recapturing romance with your partner. Okay, you definitely have romantic capability here, Scorpio. You were led to this reading to recapture the fun. I want you guys, if you were led, if it resonates, to write a love letter, a little cute note. It could be two paragraphs, okay? Something cute. As we saw in your fortune, you're going to be writing down how you feel, express yourself forever, my love. No one or nothing could get in the way of how I feel for you. You need to let somebody know that they could have screwed up. They could have been, you know, eyeing someone else, but you're still present. Your love is forgiving. It's unconditional Scorpio romance and play can re-enter the picture. All right. I hope you guys are claiming this message. Let's get lovers oracle advice for those in union. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Power. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. OK. And. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So listen, if it's too much, if it's too much of a burden, this relationship and you're demanding too much of one another, that's when you put a strain on it. That's when the power struggles appear. That's when the dynamics become out of whack. That's when the love is gone. All right. But when you keep it lighthearted, remember, you're just together to make memories. All right. When you keep it cute. Oh, this Scorpio, do know you can invite romance to stay. Somebody needed to hear that. I love you all. Be blessed. Peace.